Hey guys, it's Josh. This is going to be a quick video, but it's one that I think could really help improve the performance of your studio. And the tip is this, if you have a Mac Pro, uh, particularly one made around 2013, that's uh, been affectionately called the Trash Can Mac Pro. Uh, if you look on the back of it, where you have your Thunderbolt connections, there's actually three different buses. And you may not have known that. And if you just connect your uh, hard drives and interface and different things, or your display, if you just connect them in a random order, you may not be getting the best performance possible out of your setup. So here's how it works. When you look at the back of your Mac Pro, I'll bring up a graphic here to help give a visual. But if you go left to right, they're numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, numbers one and three are bus one. Numbers two and four are bus two. And numbers five and six, and also your HDMI connection below is actually called bus zero. So how do we arrange things to make sure we're getting the best performance in our studio? You wanna start out, uh, and it, or I'm just gonna share with you how I've done it, cause I, I know it works. So hopefully it will do the same for you. But if you go in that top left connection and number one, with your interface. For me, I'm using an Antelope Orion 32 HD. Um, it connects via DigiLink cable to a Sonnet Echo Express uh, chassis that has the Avid HDX card in it. That goes Thunderbolt to that first top left connection on the Mac Pro. Now, also I told you previously that port number three is part of that same bus one group. Port number three is completely open. And the reason being that my main, uh, most important thing that I need to make sure has full power at all times in my studio is my interface slash um, Avid HDX card. That's the heart of my system. And that doing that makes sure it's not sharing bandwidth with anything else. And I uh, recommend that you do the same. If you have a Thunderbolt interface, connect that one by itself in that top left port. So if you go over to the second group, which is going to be buses or connections two and four, bus number two, for me, that's where my uh, hard drives are connected. I have a Thunder Bay 4 that has a, a RAID of, I think it's four hard drives in there. Those are connected there. Now, my display also is a Thunderbolt connection, but I drop it down to one of the connections in group zero. And the reason being is uh, a display can actually take up quite a lot of bandwidth, as can your hard drive. And you want to keep those separate, if at all possible. So you can round out the rest of it like I have a uh, UAD satellite connection that's also a Thunderbolt that I pair with the... Um, hard drives and that seems to work out okay but if you've got a, a something like that that maybe doesn't need super top speed you could try to connect it with usb3 or if it has other connection options not just thunderbolt so if you find yourself like i i can't arrange it where my interface has its own bus then i would just see if any of those other devices has an alternate way of connecting that you can get away with not having thunderbolt for that so anyway, I know this was quick, but just in case you weren't aware of this, I wanted to let you know because it, it can actually be very important. So if you're having any kind of issues with your interface, any performance issues, you know, you're getting uh, errors as you try to record or work on big sessions, try to change things around like that and be sure to leave a comment below and let me know if it helped out and if it made any improvements in your studio. Thanks for watching. If you would subscribe to the channel, if you really like what we're doing, ring the bell there and you'll be the first to know of everything that we're doing. All right. Have a good weekend. Thanks guys.